All parties in the matter of Walker versus Zala Koffer. Step forward. Christina Walker is suing her former landlord, Jerry Zola Koffer, for the return of her security deposit and punitive damages. Jerry is countersuing for rent, property damage, and storage fees. Miss Walker, you rented a room from the defendant. You lived there for a while, you moved out, and she kept your security deposit. Yes, ma'am. You want your security deposit back, which is how much? How much did you give her in security deposit? Uh, $200. And you're suing her for $5,000 yes. because you want mental anguish, punitive damages, etc. But she kept your security deposit. Yes, ma'am. And you have a counterclaim for unpaid rent. That's what correct. rent didn't she pay? Uh, she did not pay for the month of June. June. That's correct. When did you move out? June 20th. Did you pay the month of June? No. Well, then you owe her for June. Yes, and I have no problem with that. Great. How much was your rent? Six fifty. So you owe her six hundred and fifty dollars, and your security deposit was two hundred dollars. Yes. So that means you only owe her four hundred and fifty dollars. Yes, ma'am. So I don't understand this lawsuit. During my stay there, there was um, a lot of issues with the neighbors. I don't care. You live there. You don't like living there anymore. You move out. And that was my plan the whole entire time. Great. But I kept being talked into staying longer. Miss Walker, I don't care. That's Courts fine. don't care. You wanted your security deposit back. Well, you're entitled to your security deposit back unless there were damages to the apartment. Did you leave the apartment damaged? No, I actually cleaned up the place to move into it. I don't care. I'm no, I did about not. You there left. were already damages there. I helped prepare the house. Did you do a walkthrough with Miss Walker when she left? I did not have the opportunity to, Your Honor. She took her things out, put the keys on the counter. Here are your keys. You can keep that security deposit. I left stuff in your yard. I'll have to come back and get it. The food that I left, do whatever you want with it. And you kept her security deposit because she left the place a mess and she left things in the house? Do you have photographs for me? Yes. I'd like to see them. Okay. Because you may not be entitled to your security deposit back, which means you'll owe her the entire 650 in rent um, that you didn't pay in June. There was an issue with the refrigerator that broke. I had to throw out over 300 and something dollars worth of food that day because I could not be there for them to put it in the refrigerator. I have pictures of the food that was left. I don't care about the food. Okay. Just throw away the food. What else? And I have a picture of the security door that I have to, had to replace and items that she left in the yard. The security door was because she took out a door because she said there was something wrong with the frame. Is that? Not to my knowledge. There okay. was nothing wrong with the frame. Fine. She owes you $450. Can you give her back a security deposit? I'm taking off $200 from the six fifty dollars in rent she didn't pay. Are we finished? Good. Judgment on the counterclaim for $450. We're done. <laughs>